What's up YouTube, it's Shamir, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I will help you guys figure out if you need a bigger hard drive. The first thing I want to ask you guys, did you know that the more free space you have on your hard drive, the faster it will operate? Second question I have for you, did you know that it should never be more than 90% full? And the third question that I wanted to ask you was, how can you tell if getting a bigger hard drive will help your computer run faster? So. If you don't know the answer to those questions, in this video, I'm gonna show you. So first thing I want you to do is, I want you to start by opening up this utility, like so. Once you have this utility open, start by clicking on your Macintosh HD over in the left-hand sidebar here. Now right here, I just want you to take a look at your captivity and your available and your use. Now keep in mind, in this case, my available is higher than my use. So in most cases, you just want to make sure that your available is always higher than your use because if not, that means that you have a lot of files on your Mac and in some cases it can slow down your computer. So again, just, you know, try to make sure that your use is always less than your available. So now that we have that understood and you know what you're dealing with on your Mac, we can just quit this utility. Now, I want you to head over to the Mac App Store if you haven't already done so because you might just already have this application, I'm not sure, but if you don't, I would like for you to download Daisy Disk. Now, Daisy Disk, it's a great app. I've been using it for quite some time now. Basically, it will help you recover disk space by finding and removing large files and you know useless files that's on your Mac by giving you a cool visual interactive map that you can you know browse through to remove files. So this is the application itself. It costs $9.99 in the Mac App Store. So we're just gonna close that down now that you know where you can get it from. I will also uh, put a link down below in the description where you can just head over to the website itself and you know give it a try. I think it's like a free trial. They may give you for like seven or 10 days or something like that. You know, they change it periodically and stuff like that, but you can go to the website and download it and try it out before you purchase it. So like I said, if you just look down below in the description, you'll see the link for that website. Now that we have that, we wanna open up Daisy Disk. Now what you wanna do is you wanna scan the hard drive that you wanna start deleting files on. In this case, I'm gonna scan my Macintosh HD. We're gonna scan that like so. Okay, now that I've scanned my hard drive, you're presented with your Daisy Disk. And you shall see that you have different colors here on your graph so this is a real cool interface like i was telling you that you can just basically hover over through and select your hard drive so i'm going to select the green here and if you look over in the right hand corner in my sidebar i have different options for movies pictures documents library and my windows 8 that i'm running on my mac here inside parallels so the further i go deep down inside my hard drive the more files i can look at so my green here is my Lightroom 5 photos because I'm a photographer. So you'll see there that that folder is 28.8 gigabytes. If I wanted to delete some items out of this folder, I could just come over to the right, like so, just leave the graph here and come over to the right, well, or you can select it. Come over to the right and select that folder, the whole entire folder, and you can then just drag it and drop it right here where it says drag and drop files here to collect them. Once you drag and drop them there, you will then delete them. Now keep in mind, when you delete those files, you will delete them forever. So if you don't wanna delete that folder, don't drag and drop it because you'll be messed up unless you have time machine. So basically, this is one of the cool ways that you can just you know free some space on your hard drive for the summertime to just make sure that your Mac is running nice and smooth. Because like I said, the more free space that you have on your Mac, the faster it will run. You probably won't notice the difference until your hard drive starts to get reasonably full. But just keep in mind, try to keep at least 10% of your hard drive free. So if your hard drive does fill all the way up, you may get errors like startup disk is full. In this case, you really do need to do something right away. So you will notice stuff like your hard drive may start to run kind of slow or get a little sluggish. And if it do, like I said, you can just always, uh, you know, get an external hard drive or something like that. And, you know, just throw some of your big files on it, like movies, photos, if you're a photographer, or if you like to edit photos inside. 
Final Cut Pro After Effects or something like that. I just hope this video helped you guys out. I uh, hope it was very informative for you. If so, please rate, comment, and subscribe for your man. I appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. I'll let you.